A very common uh, cause of uh, knee pain, eh? uh, especially in a sports person, is a meniscus tear. What are meniscus? Eh? If you look carefully, this is a, this is a thigh bone, shin bone. I've opened up the knee for you. <coughs> you can see there is this structure here on the inner aspect and a structure here on the outer aspect. These are the short absorbers. They are called the meniscus. The one on the outer is called the lateral meniscus. The one on the inner is called the medial meniscus. Now, these structures help to... Um, uh, absorb the shock in the knee joint during running, walking and other activities and uh, if it is torn, uh, it can be very painful and the cartilage no longer get protection from these shock absorbers. Um, patients with meniscus tears tend to require surgery. The reason being if you leave the meniscus tear alone, the tear eventually becomes less painful but the tear will act as an unstable flap. And when you walk or run, this unstable flap will rub onto the cartilage of the joint. And this will cause a sandpaper effect and it will rub off the cartilage, which is a thin layer. And once the, during the process of rubbing off the cartilage, there's no pain because the cartilage has no nerve fibers. But once, once the bone is exposed, it becomes painful because there's lots of pain fibers on the exposed bone. So... Um, for meniscus tears, if it's repairable, we should always try to repair it. And nowadays, it can be done through keyhole surgery. So if you have a possible meniscus tear, please seek treatment early.